Now let's get to the fun part, using messages. You will find the messages icon at the top of your school administrator dashboard if you are a school administrator at that site. Click the messages icon. As a reminder, depending on the settings chosen, administrators can send messages to individual or groups of administrators, teachers, students, and connected family members at the school or to any combination of these. This is Messages. On the left-hand side, you will find all of your conversations. If you click on one, it will show up on the right-hand side and you can scroll through all the messages in that conversation thread. You can also reply here. Administrators, teachers, students, and family members can filter messages to make it easier to view announcements or conversations they sent or received, or view messages associated with certain classes. You can also hide message threads in order to keep your inbox organized. To hide a message thread, just hover over a message thread in your inbox. A three dots menu will appear. Click on it. Then select Hide Message Thread. To view hidden message threads, just tap the filtering option and then tap Archived and Hidden. All of your hidden message threads will appear. If you want to bring the archived messages back to your inbox, you need to unhide the message thread. Hover over the message you want to unhide and click the three dots menu and select Show Message Thread. The message will reappear in your inbox. Note that any new messages sent to a hidden thread will bring the message thread back into the recipient's inbox. Now, to start a new message, click on the paper and pencil icon and choose either New Announcement or New Conversation. In an announcement, member names are hidden and members cannot reply to the entire group. Administrators use announcements to send school-wide reminders or information that teachers, students, and families do not need to reply to. For example, administrators may send a reminder about the book fair or another event taking place at school. A conversation is either a one-on-one -on -one message or group message which shows member names and allows all members to reply in the same message thread. Let's go ahead and send this as a group message conversation. In the search bar, type the name of an administrator, teacher, student, or family member you would like to send the message to. You can select one person or you can continue to search for and add other members to create a custom group of administrators, teachers, students, and family members. You can also send messages to all teachers, students, and family members connected to a classroom or classrooms. Just click Add Classes. First, select the audience. You can choose teachers, family members, and or students, and then choose a class or multiple classes. You will see all the classes in your school here. You can also click My Classes to filter classes by grade level. This allows you to easily message all third grade classes at once. To add the recipients to your message, click Add Selected. Type your message. All the text written here can be easily translated if the recipient's device is set to another language. To make your messages more engaging, click the green Add button to add an attachment using any of Seesaw's multimodal tools. You can attach a photo, drawing, video, and more. Once you have added your attachment, you will see it above your typed message. You are now ready to send. The conversation has now been started and sent will appear to show your message was successfully sent. As recipients begin to view your message, you can easily view who has seen the message. Click on Seen By to see a list of recipients who have seen your message. When members reply, the replies will appear in the conversation thread and be connected to the original message. If you click the three dots on a message that you sent, you are able to edit the message, view who has seen your message, or remove your message. As an administrator, you can also click the three dots on a message sent by someone else to view the message info, remove the message, or block the sender. When a message is removed, all members will see that message has been removed. If a member is blocked from a conversation by an administrator or teacher, that member will be unable to begin a new conversation with the person who blocked them. If they are part of a group message conversation created by the blocker, they will still see messages in that conversation but cannot reply to the group chat. If they try to reply, they will get a message saying replies have been turned off for the conversation. The member can be unblocked at any time. Now let's take a look at how to schedule an announcement. Select New Announcement from the Paper and Pencil menu. As a reminder, an announcement is a one-way conversation. Recipients can only reply in a private message to the sender. Add the recipients to your message and click Next. 
Type your message and instead of sending your message right away, tap Schedule. This allows you to send the message at a later date and time. Choose the date and time you want the message to send and tap Schedule to confirm. To view and manage scheduled messages, tap View from within the message thread or tap the message thread list. Please note, you cannot edit a scheduled message until after it sends. If you need to make a change, delete the message and recreate it. There are some overall settings in each conversation. Tap the three dots at the top right of the message to edit the conversation name, type, and members. We recommend editing the message's name to keep your conversations organized. Click Edit Label, type in the new conversation name, and click Save. If you decide you want to change the message type from a conversation to an announcement or vice versa, you can do that here. In the message settings of an announcement, you can also add or remove teachers as owners. To do so, just tap the three dots next to a teacher's name and select Add as Owner or Remove as Owner. You can add or remove members from a conversation. Teachers and administrators can also archive a message thread that they started or are an owner of here. Just click Archive Announcement or Archive Conversation. Archiving a message thread will hide the thread and turn off replies for everyone in the thread. To view archive threads, anyone in the thread can filter for archive threads and view the original message thread. Teacher owners and administrators can unarchive a message thread at any time following these same steps. Now it's your turn. In just a minute, you will pause the video to send a message. Just follow these steps. First, click the messages icon. Then click the paper and pencil icon. Next, click new announcement or new conversation. Finally, add recipients. Type your message, add an attachment, and click send. Pause the video now and take a few minutes to send an announcement or group conversation to administrators, teachers, students, or family members. For additional resources on Seesaw messages, check the description. See you again soon here at Seesaw.